Outlook for Detroit Public Schools is pretty bleak. You know that. A new report out this week from the Citizens Research Council of Michigan says the total debt is around $3.5 billion. It shows about $1.9 billion in operating liabilities, which are the unfunded pension costs and borrowing for cash flow. And there's another $1.7 billion in bonds and state loans. The district admits it will run out of cash in April. And I think when you see uh, the numbers out like this, Nolan, um, it, it, it becomes, it's, well, it's staggering, number one. And now you start to see where things are lining up, um, but the clock is ticking. Well, I mean, they're headed to bankruptcy court. I think there's no question in my mind that they're headed to bankruptcy court. I don't see the legislature acting on this between now and April. Um, I don't think you're, you're going to see Detroit come to any sort of consensus itself on what it wants to do with its schools between now and then. I think you've reached now the crisis point where bankruptcy court is really the only viable option. But the problem is that there's no relief for them available in, in bankruptcy court. I mean, it's not it's not like a city who owes money uh, to, to, to Wall Street mm -hmm. or to, to, to creditors who are outside of government. This is all money that's owed within the system. And, and most of it's, right. and most of it's, it's the responsibility of the state. It's, so it's, what does that right. do, what does that do to the state, state then? Giant bill but, to the state. It, and this, the state's got a giant bill coming anyway. Yeah, and well. if the legislature won't pay it, then a bankruptcy court uh, is going to have to order it paid. But it's going yeah, to be paid one that. way or the other by Michigan taxpayers. It will be paid by Michigan and taxpayers. I think right. you, if you if you listen to what um, what's being said in Lansing, I, it looks as if they're headed straight toward bankruptcy court. Wait, I don't think they'll get to bankruptcy court. I mean, I think you, how will I, they avoid it? I think a federal district court judge can present uh, uh, a bill to the state to say, look, the, the, this uh, government entity can't pay it. You are you are the the, the ultimate mm -hmm. financial mm -hmm. authority. It's it's your bill. You gotta you gotta make good on it. I think it. they're looking at chapter nine before that. But that's a that's for reorganization. And uh, you have and what would you do? What, what and, are you gonna reorganize? And, and any any number of creditors can throw them into into bankruptcy at I don't this know. point. Right. I'm not sure. Okay, so so what does that do then? You know, what does that I do to the, the state? And and if and if you do go into bankruptcy, what does that then do to, you know. So 36,000, 40,000 kids who are in the district. I'm starting to wonder whether we're at the same point that we were in, what was it, 1993, uh, when Kalkaska uh, schools were allowed to essentially run out of money mm -hmm. uh, before the school year ended. And that was the, the sort of, a lot of people would say it was a manufactured crisis uh, because the legislature and the governor We had a school district on. recently that happened in Buena Vista. Right. Um, in order to get well, people to, but in 93 and 94, what that did was, was move the ball in terms of pr uh, Proposal A and the refinancing of schools so that that would not happen any longer. But maybe we're at the same point where something like uh, Detroit going, uh, the Detroit schools uh, uh, becoming insolvent uh, moves the legislature to deal with the problem here and elsewhere. I mean, I, I keep saying over and over that, that this is not just a Detroit problem. It's biggest in Detroit and it's worst in Detroit, but you can go to school districts all over Michigan and find the same issues. We've got to start talking about how we deal with school finance, with legacy costs, and all those things in that so context. Same what, issues on smaller scale, scale, but I, I mean, what can they do? I mean, I what are a, the options? I think you need another proposed uh, Prop A type solution. You've got to really change the fundamental basis for funding schools. You've got to be more reliable and steady and but uh, what and source growth. would be that? I mean, I'm not sure. You, you know, we've I think tried you look at property other taxes that we've didn't tried work. Sales tax. I mean, uh, I don't know what source would be would solve this problem I and mean, yeah. they're buried under legacy costs they've got 32 billion dollars in pension debt mm -hmm. um, upcoming that's statewide I don't know where that money is and again and again you have instability in the school system because you have teachers who are not happy about this and so you're getting sick outs mm -hmm. and you're getting schools that are which, shut down which isn't helpful um, which, which, well which is not helpful but again we sat here it was a year ago in January that we sat here saying oh we're gonna get a report out from the coalition for Detroit schools and talking about what possible and solutions that could be and this summer. is gonna come together by the spring There's it was no supposed to be together. last spring and so now we're at this point so if I'm a parent in the Detroit schools district and I see that my district's gonna run out of money 
money and the amount of and the amount of staggering debt. I mean, how, how do you how do you say as a parent, oh, I'm in the for the long haul. I'm going to send my kids back to school there. You're not, um, and that's why half of them don't send their children. They're half the half the school age children in Detroit go to non-public school or non-traditional public schools. They're in charters or in private schools. They're in suburban school districts. All right, last word on this, Stephen. Yeah, before I mean, we wrap I, up. I, I think we are at the a stage where the legislature and the government are going to have to act, and I think they're going to act in a big way. I'm worried about that happening in an election year. They shouldn't have put it to, to off this far, but I don't think they're going to have a choice. If, this, if, if the school district runs out of money, can't pay its bills, then you do have an actual crisis with a huge bill. Yeah. So. All right.